Hi everyone, this is Shukesh Banik from Gadgets Portal and welcome you to the second episode of the awesome tips and tricks series reviews on this all new LG G4. If you missed the episode 1 then check the description below for the link. Now I have been using this device for a while now and I am getting fond of this device more and more every day. The software features are just mind blowing you will actually find all of those very very useful in your day to day life and today in this video I am going to show you the top software features and hidden tweaks on this LG G4 so be with me guys. Well as you know there is an extra homepage called smart bulletin and there you get smart settings. This is where things turn on or off and open or change according to where you are or what you do. For example when you are at home, the handset can automatically change the sound profile you set. You can switch to vibration or do not disturb. To set your home location you can use this feature called my places which uses google maps. Your trusted places can be set from here as well and as you know from the episode 1 at trusted places the phone also remains unlocked. Bluetooth and Wi-Fi can also be switched on or off when you enter your home. On the other hand when you are actually away from home, you can do the same thing specially you can automatically switch off the Wi-Fi which I personally always forget. This can save considerable amount of battery. You can also set instructions for your accessories for example, once you attach your headset to the smartphone, the music player can auto start and you can also set FM radio, video player, dialer, messaging app, whatever you want and the same things can be set for a Bluetooth stereo headset or a Bluetooth speaker. So it's a very handy feature. You can also manually visit the smart settings menu from the general and the smart settings option here. The next feature I have for you guys is called smart notice coupled with the weather widget. This gives you helpful reminders and clicking this will drop down a list of cards giving you tips based on time, location and the way you use the phone. For example, you can copy data from your old phone with this LG backup. This list of cards and the weather tip changes from time to time. According to LG, your experience with this G4 will improve day by day because this phone actually tracks the way you use the phone and learns from you. There is another very handy feature called Q-Slide which basically enables you to open applications in pop-up windows. You can move this anywhere on the screen, you can resize and interestingly the transparency level can be set as well. Just slide your finger here and make these floating apps transparent. So in this way you can multitask or just place an application on screen while doing your normal task. A maximum of two applications can be opened simultaneously on screen and this list of compatible applications here can be edited as well. Now you can slide these floating pop-ups into the right edge of the screen to convert them into floating icons. This is such a nice feature you can put the messaging app while gaming and check messages whenever you want. You can also put the browser, the email client and whichever application that is compatible. Q-slide can be launched from the notification window or you can convert any application into Q-slide from the respective settings of those applications. For instance here on the dialer you can launch Q-slide from the menu option. Well let's move on to the next feature. If you click on the recents or preview key, there is an option called dual window that is you can split the display into two and run two applications simultaneously on screen. Just drag and drop the compatible applications to the top or bottom part of the screen and this huge 5.5 inches display can easily hold two apps side by side. You can also launch two browsers and compare or you can chat with two person. These windows can be resized as well. Now the most interesting part is you can move elements from one window to another. Just press and hold on the browser text and select. Then just drag and drop. It's as simple as that. 
so you can take notes by placing a note taking application and the images can be saved as well when you are browsing the web and want to open a link for example there is a link here and if i click on it which is basically a video link the video will open on the either side of the dual window the same thing can be also done with the messaging app that is if you receive a link through a message you can check that out in the dual window mode so this is a very handy feature you should check there is an another way of launching this dual window mode here on the preview mode you will get this dual window icon on the compatible applications and clicking any of these two will open in dual window To enable the auto open link option in the dual window mode, just hit the settings menu and under general you'll find the dual window mode, then check this option here. Now there is a very nice note taking and drawing app preloaded into the G4. It's called quick memo plus and you can launch this from this notification panel here. What it does is it takes a screenshot of the current screen. You can draw on it you can also go to text mode to write on it and the pen settings can be changed like the pen type transparency and thickness can be adjusted to your liking this is where you switch to text mode Q memo plus can be launched from this app here as well and the interesting part is you can actually lock your private messages or notes and your gallery images can be locked with the same password as well I'll talk about that in the episode 3 of this review series. Alpha numerical or pattern password can be set and this password applies to all the notes and all the gallery images. Not to mention this is different from the unlocking password of this LG G4. Now this phone can be customized in a lot of ways for example you can change the whole theme of the phone. Just go to the home screen settings and change the theme. You need to download them from the LG Smart World app. Let's just load this theme and show you what are the changes this can bring. Well, the wallpaper has been changed and the icons are also redesigned. This theme is looking damn good on this G4 and the interesting part is the color of the weather widget also changes in accordance with the wallpaper. This is a nice feature of this device and now on your nice wallpapers will not get ruined because of the weather widget. Let me give you a glimpse of the LG smart world where you'll find different type of themes, wallpapers, applications and games that are specially developed for this G4. You might also find exclusive offers and free content for your LG smartphone. Another way of changing the look of the phone is to set wallpapers. You can set multi photos that is each homepage gets different wallpapers and there you get live wallpapers as well. I have an exclusive channel for games, applications, themes, launchers and wallpapers. It's called Gadgets Portal Play and you can find that at youtube.com slash gadgets portal play. Now without changing the theme you can individually change the icons just press and hold and click on this small brush icon here. There is a list of available icons and you might be able to download more. The icons can be resized as well. In fact you can also design one and resize that as you wish. Just put images from your gallery and that's it. So in this way you can creatively design your LG G4 and make this attractive and unique. Well guys you must be familiar with the term daydream. It's basically a screen saver when the screen is off and you can apply this only when the phone is connected to the charger or on a dock. This is the option you should check and you can put clocks, wallpapers and images. Let me show you a demo. This is how the screensaver looks in the clock mode and as I mentioned before you can put live wallpapers. I have downloaded one it's called flames free and not all live wallpapers support daydream. Let me show you how does this flames free look. 
well when you attach your charger this will give you an impression that the fire is actually coming from the charger so you should give this a try so far i have shown you lots of tricks on this g4 and really hope that you are enjoying it if so then please don't hesitate to subscribe to this channel and also give this video a thumbs up now here on this apps menu you get an interesting option for hiding your applications so if you want to hide your gmail application your setting and also your sensitive applications from other users then you can hide them but anyone can unhide these applications if they know about this trick. So don't tell this to anyone. You can directly uninstall or edit your installed applications from here and the sorting of these applications can be done by name that is they will be alphabetically ordered and you can also view them by download date or just order them as you wish. There is a multicolored LED at the top of the phone and this denotes different colors for different scenario. Let me show you the list. Go to sound and notification settings and check this notification LED. You can even enable the camera flash to blink when you receive any notification including calls. Let me show you the settings. Go to the accessibility settings under general option and hit the hearing option. Now click on this checkbox here. The huge 5.5 inches display size might not feel user friendly for some of you guys. So LG has incorporated something called one handed operation that is you can shrink the dial pad to your left or right and it's very useful when you are walking or traveling in a crowded bus or train. The same applies to the keyboard. Let me show you. Just swipe to right or left and shrink the whole keyboard to your side just under your thumb and if you have a very small hand and want to type with one hand then this might be very helpful to you guys. I will give you a bunch of tips on the keyboard in the episode 3 so keep in touch. Now I have for you some battery saving tips. Here on the notification toggles you will find the location settings that is the GPS on off option. Just press and hold to go to the specific setting and uh, there you get three options. The high accuracy actually eats up lots of batteries so if you wish you can switch to only GPS mode which works just fine and uh, the second that is the battery saving option is also not bad. Now when you are running out of battery you can enable the battery saving mode from this battery setting here. What this does is the background applications are closed immediately and the brightness, the CPU performance, everything are compromised and you can enable this automatically at 5% or 15% of the battery or immediately if you wish. There is another very interesting option here called game optimizer which actually adjusts the graphics of high-end games and visually you will not feel the difference that much but the battery will be saved and I do recommend you to enable this setting here. Now the battery backup of this LG G4 is phenomenal. I am getting around 2 days of backup on normal to heavy uses and on standby the battery feels like never ending. In fact not 1% of the battery is going to drain overnight. This is where you can clean the temporary files and the cache memory to get maximum battery output. The recent applications can be closed as well to get optimum free RAM for the user. If you triple tap on the display you can magnify the screen and using two fingers you can pan or zoom. Triple tapping will zoom out again. You can also temporarily magnify by triple tapping and holding on the screen. This might be very helpful if you want to have a closer look of an image or small text. Now this feature is not active by default because during gaming this will be quite a problem. So hit the setting menu and in the accessibility vision settings you will find the touch zoom option. Just enable this feature if you find this useful to you. Let me give you a quick demo of the voice mate app that is the voice assistant service from LG. You can of course get Google now just by swiping up from the home and I have talked about that in the episode 1. This is the VoiceMate app I have been talking about and uh, it's actually not bad. In fact, I have found this more responsive than the S Voice on the Samsung mobiles. Let me give you a demo. 
call wife? Would you like to call wife? Yes. Calling wife. Play music. Find directions to Victoria Memorial. Searching the web for directions to Victoria Memorial. You can find the complete list of commands in the voicemail settings. Well guys, we are at the end of the second episode. The third episode is on the way, so don't forget to subscribe and keep in touch. If you have found this video very helpful to you, then give it a thumbs up and also share this video with your friends and family if they are also interested. Thanks a lot for watching guys. Check the description below for the link of more interesting videos on this awesome LG G4.